situation with Dustin Hopkins. I will leave that there. What's going on, hi? Um, how you feeling? So, uh, people that's in the chat, talk to me right quick because we're going to transition. That was Dustin Hopkins. We're going to transition to a quick conversation about Tua. Uh, tag Tua TT. Tua Tagalavola. I butchered his name, but we're gonna call him we're gonna call him TT so I won't seem disrespectful. Um so first and foremost, I'm gonna ask you all, do you mind Washington taking a chance on Tua if the rumors of him being involved in trade talks are serious? For those who are not aware, I'm going to go to the initial tweet. I think now, first off, actually, let me say that. Let me go ahead and start state it right now. I'm not entirely too sure where the rumor started and I wasn't about to do any investigations to figure out where the initial tweet came from on October 20, 20th um, of this year. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Here's a tweet that I found at 4.30 p.m. yesterday. <laughs> and if this wasn't the original source or whatever, okay. But Cody Davis, um, Cody Davis works for... He's a beat reporter for the Locked On Texans um, network, but also or the Locked On Texans podcast and the Texans Wire. Um, Cody Davis stated that in regards to Texans closing in on a deal that uh, would send Deshaun Washington to the Miami Dolphins, I'm hearing that it could be a three-team deal that would send Tua TT to the Washington football team. So High says that Tua ain't it. Um, I don't, my issue with the Tua conversation, it isn't even that Washington, what's the best way to say it? I think Washington is in a position where they can't really afford to trade a lot for Tua. Um, I think that Washington is in a position where if you view Tua as something, then he needs to be that something that's going to be brought in uh, with no guarantees, um, understanding that uh, you're not drafting. I mean, you're not trading for Tua for him to be your future. You're trading him to be your to be the tryout for your future. Think about it like this, and this is what I thought of in the situation with Tua. If if again, if this one thing does happen and Tua finds himself uh, being shipped out of Miami. In 2017 or maybe 2016, Jimmy Garoppolo was traded from the Patriots to the um, San Francisco 49ers. When Jimmy Garoppolo was traded to the 49ers, he was on the last year of his deal as well. And for Jimmy, he had to be re-signed at the end of the season. Now, for me, I'm going to help myself out right quick, and I'm going to look and see what year that was specifically so I can get a little bit more factual here. Um, one second. Yep, so it was it was the 2017 season. Because of that 2-0 record that he produced uh, against with the New England Patriots the year before. So, again, back to Jimmy. If two was to get traded... It would be something similar to the to the likes of Jimmy's narrative and his storyline. Traded to a team, he has a couple days, or excuse me, a couple weeks to get acclimated with that new team, and then it's okay. Let me see what you got these last four or five games because we're not in it right now. We're not making the playoffs. We need to see what we have in Tua. For Washington, if he was to get traded here, first off, it's kind of crazy how. Ryan Fitzpatrick escaped Miami and if Tua found his way back <laughs> if he found his way back into <laughs> into the same locker room as, as Ryan Fitzpatrick I think Ryan Fitzpatrick may have to he may have to put the pause on Tua <laughs> he may have to put the pause on Tua man um but he would have to he would have to have that that run um and and for me it will it would literally come down to wins or losses like how how does he command an offense how's how is he being able to, to, to maneuver within this offense and, and lead a team and also be able to make the right throws? Can he show that he, that he has better arm strength and better awareness than Taylor Heineke? Can he see the field a little bit better than Taylor Heineke? Um, because right now, Taylor is at number two. Like, he is a good backup. 
ain't going to be starting for you, but he is at a good backup. Um, so I think that he will end up being in a Jimmy Garoppolo situation where like, if he's not able to, wherever he goes, if he's not able to compete um, after he gets a couple weeks to kind of get acclimated with an offense, if he's not able to compete, then, you know, he's out the door. That's kind of where it's at. And for Washington, um, they're in that position where you can't afford to marry yourself to a guy just because you traded for him. You can't do it. Even if you overstep and, and trade that trade trade for two or using your second, second or third round draft picks, you can't do it. Washington needs to find their quarterback, be aggressive in their search, um, understanding that at this point, all the chips that you had, which was on the defensive side of the football, that could have attracted a quarterback in here because all that quarterback knew was this team needed a quarterback. All your chips are now gone because of how bad your defense is. <laughs> your defense is the 32nd ranked defense in the NFL. Uh, the 32nd ranked defense in points, 31st in yards. That's how bad your defense is. What quarterback is going to want to come? When I say what quarterback, I'm talking about the Russell Wilsons. I'm talking about Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson, if he was a free agent, um, which he isn't, but he may have his choice in, in, in locations if he's getting traded. Uh, these other names, even Jameis Winston now, like what quarterback would want to come to Washington to be that uh, looked at as that at stability guy? Like they want somebody that's, act they want a team that's actually stable. And Washington has not provided that this year. So all the chips that Washington had, they're gone. They're not there right now. So um, you're looking at the draft, and that's why your draft capital is going to be pretty important. And for me, trading for Tua, um, the quarterback himself, I have no opinion on him, man. It's kind of hard when you got to deal with a guy who has so many injuries and he's been in the league for two years. Um, he's missed so much time, man, um, or enough time. That, that kind of backs the, the injury issue that he dealt with in Alabama with his hip. It's, it's just rough. I, I don't know if I'm really willing to trade anything uh, for Tua, man. And then personally, I, I, would, I would fucking riot. I would really riot. Um, so I like again mentioned that Tua ain't it. And DMV said, uh, even if I did want Tua, I especially wouldn't trade for him in the middle of the season. Um, so how much would y'all give up for Tua? Well, I know how I, won't, how, how I ain't trading for Tua, but... DMV, if you were to get, or if Washington was to get to a, what would be a, a price tag that you're content with? Um, let me know that part. Um, okay. So that's kind of where everything got started. And then for those who are concerned and wondering if, you know, the two rumors are legit, uh, for what is worth the Washington media, local beat reporters and things like that, they all said, um, essentially, no. JP Finley said, um, of CBS, NBC Sports Washington said he got a hard no when he inquired from multiple people. So if you're worried about if Tua is coming to Washington, D.C., or if there's any legs to the rumor, um, there's, just say, because there's always a chance, just say it's probably like a 10% chance that Tua comes to Washington. Um, I don't think Ron Rivera, I mean, Ron Rivera should be desperate for a quarterback, but I don't think he's that desperate to, to trade in Tua. Um, so DMV said he'll trade a fourth or a fifth. Um, yeah, and, and it's something like I said, I can't, I couldn't get mad at. I just, I would be upset if they, if they traded for Tua and they said, okay, we have our guy. That's the mistake that I think that they will make. They need to treat this same situation like they need that, like San Francisco treated, um, Jimmy Garoppolo when he came aboard. They gave him the five games at the end of the season. He went five and zero. Oh, he got the extension. They ended up getting a Super Bowl appearance out of it. Um, and I mean, he's still playing here. But, uh, yes, that's kind of like how they have to treat the situation for me uh, before you sit here and say, uh, Tua is your guy. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Hold hard in the trenches. Ask a nigga what he benches. Triple digits, nigga. Don't forget to mention. Hold hard in the trenches. Ask a nigga.